Good morning, loves. Welcome back to Life Adventures in Keto. My name is Michelle, or Hot Mess Express, as otherwise known as. Listen, I have apologies from this weekend. And, and so come back if you want to talk about it, and we'll talk about life updates and where we're going and what we're doing. And yeah, come back. Okay, so welcome back. I am running late this morning. Hello. It's Monday, but I cannot blame this on Monday. This is a Michelle thing. I'm running late. Anyway, um, I feel so much better all over you guys, and I really want to talk about it. But first, we have to apologize to Tom and Mike for over Live the from Atlanta, Georgia. Live from Las Vegas, Nevada. The keto, the show, keto Tom show, Tom and Mike. For over the weekend, because Michelle thought she could do math. Math is not my thing. I, I guess time and time zones aren't my thing. But I want you to know that I have been roasted very much by my own Mike for messing up. I was ready to go, walk out the door. I had my phone on charge so it wouldn't go dead in, in the live because oh, that has happened to me before. So, I get all ready, and here's picture proof. <laughs> I had makeup on, okay? I was, I was, I, I thought I was on time, and I, I apologize. We have rescheduled. I'm gonna put the date here because I need to confirm to make sure the date, because I was kind of in a panic when I talked to him yesterday because I had let them down. I did not show up when I was supposed to. I thought I was supposed to be there at a certain time, thinking that there are different time zones and it involved math. And so Michelle didn't make it, but there's proof, proof right here. Proof. Okay, you guys, so let's say that be careful what you wish for because I had an previous thought of mine said to myself, I wish I had just some time to think about things things overwhelm me and I need processing time but there's not processing time because things overwhelm me and I, I'm going non-stop over and over and over again in my head all day long over and over and over and um there's there is a youtuber that I follow Elise I'll put her name down below. Not that she needs any shout out for me because she's huge. But she was trying to record a day in the life and she got stuck at the sink with her OCD. And I am an OCD housekeeper and I felt that so deep in my soul. I need to get over, dude. Come on. Dude, I need to get over. Anyway, where was I? I felt that. I felt it. I have been there. I related so hard to this video of hers. Now, I, I just, if anything throws off the process, you guys if anything throws off the process I have to I have to follow through with the process regardless of what happens between point A and point B or I can't leave and I'm laughing about it because I don't want to cry about it okay so it's just a thing that I have also decided I want to share with you guys so I have started a mental health series, is what we are going to call it. I've also started some fly lady things. The fly lady is called fly, F-L-Y, finally loving yourself routines. So, I'm putting them back in place because me, as the role I'm playing now in my household, has had to change and I'm old and stuck in my ways and it was really affecting me mentally more than I should have let it. And so, 
I have been praying about a situation at the house, a task that I need to, I need to direct attention to in a loving, gentle way, but firm. So, I needed the words to say without being accusatory because in my mind, that was where it was going. But in a conversation with my husband, again, he has said something that I have stewed upon now since I had the time to think about things. So, Wednesday, we have our son and his wife has moved back in the house and we have acquired a camper and they had, they had wanted to like refurbish campers, kind of living off the grid kind of thing, the solar energy, the thing that, you know, well, you know, here we got one and we have to clean it up before they can get in there, but here's like a trial run, run kind of thing, right? And um, we had done vacuum, we cleaned all the trash out of it, we had cleaned it all up, uh, tore out paneling and um, corner boards where there is some damage from water damage. There was evidently there there's two vents in the top and he didn't have the proper covers for those for when it was going to rain or what have you. He just basically left them open because it just trickled in a little bit so he thought but it was actually trickling in and down the wall down the wood. Anyway we got all that out, vacuumed all the stuff. It's been empty a minute so you can imagine you know if you're not living in there something's living in there. Anyway we got all that cleaned up. So Wednesday, uh, I am, I'm frugal. Hello, I'm frugal. Are you following this? I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyway, we were cleaning this camper and I used a chemical to do the wood. It's like the, the attire on the outside of the cabinets and such looks as if to be wood, but we all know it's not wood. You know what I'm saying? So this stuff was like a wood cleaner. So I thought oh, that would be something great to go over this press board wood did shellac kind of anyway. Cabinets. <laughs> I didn't have any, I was in there for an hour. I didn't have any residual effects on my body while I was inside the camper with the cleaner. But as soon as I stepped one foot out of that camper, my body had a, what is it called, anaphylactic reaction to this chemical. I have those often that set off a migraine with some very um, severe side effects. And I have not been this down with a migraine in quite a long time but from Wednesday evening at about four o'clock I sent my husband after pizza I was like there's no way I can there's no way I can cook right now so I was down from Wednesday to Saturday afternoonish or so um, I had tried to drive out on Thursday morning and had to really regroup myself a couple of times to drive myself back home that was stupid to do but um, the motion made the nauseous just even worse but if I don't work I don't make money so I, I was trying to go to work anyway I just, I just gave into it at that moment and said whatever happens happens so here we are on Monday morning. I feel a lot better. Previous to me getting the migraine, I meal prepped you guys and I didn't have time to put it together because you can't edit when you have a migraine. And so I'm just going to show you some booty clips of what I've been doing on the keto diet here in just a minute. And I'm going to give you my weight where I, where I started a week ago, where I am now, and I really do feel better.
gotten past kind of those first couple of days of uh, being sick, like the keto flu or what have you, because the more trash you eat, the more um, your body is going to detoxify from the trash, if that makes any sense. So, me having to be flat on my back in the bed in the quiet room with no talking, just me in my head, that sometimes it's not good. But this time, I think it was really beneficial. I just was with me and I had a lot of time to think. So, here's where I want to go forward. Me on my ketogenic journey, I have just started being ketogenic. What I know to be ketogenic foods, I'm eating when I want to, I'm eating as much as I want to. There isn't really limits to this for right now for me, except for it's got to be ketogenic. It has to be at the least low carb if you're going out with someone with friends or what have you you're living life at least have it be low carb i feel so much better mentally physically i feel so much better so again plan forward from here is i let my fitness watch run out of juice this week so she is over here on the side getting the re done the Fitbit Versa. So we're going to be counting steps with the Fitbit Versa. I really want to follow Derek's journey. He's starting his steps challenge. I'm not there yet, but I really, I really need to get there. My bicycle, let me show you, um, previous to me getting the migraine, I also did a little clip of me and my new bicycle. It's, it was a freebie I picked up on the side of the road and I hope to get her going. So we will give you a full video of her, but here she is. So I hope to start riding my bicycle. So I did meal prep and bring along some stuff today and I will show that to you when I get it out this morning. I cooked chaffles. I had one chaffle with some sugar-free syrup, less than a tablespoon, but here, I'll put that here. And so I will show you what I brought for a snack and a lunch when I bring them out. Okay, loves, it is lunchtime. We are having a coffee brought from the house. The rest of the pot, I drink 10 cups daily. Yeah, I did, don't think I mentioned that. And I'm having a four ounce hamburger patty and one cup of coleslaw. It was the bag that's just got the angel slaw in it with two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And that is going to be lunch. Okay, guys, so that is going to be lunch on the road. I got to go immediately to the next client. First, I have to stop to get gas so I don't have to be walking. But, you guys, dinner is going to be a rotisserie chicken from probably Walmart. And um, probably microwave cauliflower take that back I'm gonna get some lettuce to have a salad because I'm having my, I'm having my extra vegetable right now I'm not following page four religiously but I do want to stay ketogenic and under 20 net grams of carbs is what not net 20 grams or less in my day helps me stay ketogenic I am going to be drinking this coffee and then I do have another water to push that will be my third water for today it's a 16.9 ounce water so let's recap I am going to be sticking to the ketogenic way of eating step one step two I want to get more water in step three I want to get more steps in more exercise and step four I want to have a mental I want to have a great mental health as well you know body mind and soul Anyway, I want us all to get together and be <laughs> be 
one and happy as one. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I want to do from here forward. I know that if you have put it in your mind to do something, I hope that you stick with it. I hope you come back for moral support for me. Comment. Let's have a comment. Leave a comment. Let's have a conversation down in the comments. Anyway, you guys, I've got to eat and run, and that's not pretty to do on camera. So keto on and keto strong. And I hope that you join me on my very next video. And once again, sorry, Tom and Mike. All links that I've discussed today is all links that I've discussed today are going to be in the description box below. So let's have a conversation. Please do all the YouTube things that helps my channel grow. I am going to be documenting some ketogenic meals from here forward and I hope this video found you well again. Anyway, goodbye. Okay, love, so it is lunchtime. I am going to be having a chicken, a rotisserie chicken from McDonald's. McDonald's. What the hell, Michelle? Let's try this again.